the last bit of sweet tea. And we have decided to split it. But if we didn't split it, I'm sure either one of us would have been drank the entire thing. Hello and welcome to whatever day it is. What day is it? Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Um, another, another day, another you know, fairly early start. Um, I got in bed a little bit late uh, last night, but not, not too bad. We still woke up at 11, um, which is pretty good. And honestly, we only, we only woke up at 11 because I felt like I needed additional sleep. Um, I think I, my alarm was set for 10. And when I woke up, I was still like, Ugh. and I was like, oh, okay. So I got nine hours of sleep instead of eight. I uh, just got through making some eggs. Um, I think we've said it before, but I'm always the one that makes the eggs. I, um, I guess Mal, just you just trust me more. No, it's something that you insist upon cooking, so I let you. Oh, really? Yes, really. You've said before that you said I make good eggs. You do make good eggs. What is what is this about? No, you only make it because you insist upon cooking. No, there's been times I've been starting to cook eggs and you're like, no, I'm cooking the eggs. Well, and part of it's probably also that, like, I don't know how to cook a lot of things from memory, but eggs is one of them that I feel like I can and also I do a good job. Because eggs are easy, they're easy to do, but they're easy to screw up too. They're only, they're only truly good if you get all the, like, the the folds and the curds or whatever in them. Like, that's when they're good, personally. Uh, we also have some garlic bread from the other night whenever Mom made, um... Lasagna and sauce. Lasagna. And then I have a leftover Bojangles biscuit from a while back, so... Yeah, it's a bunch of bread and eggs, and then I threw two pieces of extra sharp cheddar on top, and I'm calling it a day. Where are they? Right under the feeder. Oh, I see them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you think they can see us? Maybe. In a second, I'll jump in the window, and that'll be that. Look at the dogs. Yeah. Hey, little guys. It's so nice to have wildlife. You know, to be able to look in the backyard and see stuff. Oh, the male saw Kepi. Yeah. Kepi's in the window. <laughs> cool. And Kep left because Kep probably didn't even see them. No, he didn't. Kep would be the worst hunter. <laughs> it's cool. Um, it's been a little while since that last clip. I think the last clip was just starting the day and having some food. It's uh, closer to about 5 p.m. now, and um, because of where we are in daylight savings I can't remember if it's on or off it's you know it gets um, it stays light later. yeah it stays light for a long time which is really nice so even though it's five o'clock it's still super bright outside um, we've been doing good Mal's got a lot of stuff done on her uh, on her Katamari painting and um, I just really I really like it I really like it it's so colorful which is which is cool because it's it's in the the in line with the the game itself, let me turn the light on here. As you can see, it's just so colorful. I really like it. It's it's coming along really well. Um, so she's taking a little break now because this room got really hot. <laughs> so we're turning the AC back on and letting that room cool down. Um, I've been getting a ton of vlogs done. I'm feeling pretty good about things right now. I'm I'm pretty happy. Looks like Sagan sees them. Uh huh. What are those, Sagan? You see the ducks? Huh? You like the ducks? Cap, I don't think you're gonna find them if you look that direction. The male sees Cappy. Mm -hmm. He got a little bigger, he huffed up a little bit. <laughs> We decided to take a walk around the neighborhood, um, and we came back, and the ducks are still here. And Sagan is still interested in said ducks. Uh, also, it's the first time that we've walked around the neighborhood since we've lived here. And apparently, to walk around a little bit, honestly, we didn't just go one way. We kind of, like, did some stuff twice and crossed over and walked a little bit. It took 
about 18 minutes to walk quite a bit. It was fun. Um, it was actually my idea to, to walk around because it, it, it has been cold um, and things are now nice enough where it's, you know, it's warm and we can walk. I was like, let's go walk because uh, just getting that little bit of exercise gets a lot of oxygen to your brain, helps you think better, be more creative, work better. So that was, uh, was nice. It was also a little weird because, uh, as a reminder, I grew up in this neighborhood and um, a lot has changed. <laughs> no, a lot has changed. The, there's very few people, uh, I can count them on one hand, that still live here from whenever I was growing up here. And uh, it's interesting to see the new houses that are in, um, some of the houses that have been, there's at least one or two that have been like torn down and then uh, different houses went up in, in that lot. And uh, it's just different. It's also cool because as a reminder, like we can walk to my parents' house. It's very, very close by, so. That was good. Do you feel refreshed? Do you feel yeah. like that was helpful? Yeah. Cool. We could maybe try and make it a, uh, a normal thing, a, a habit of maybe trying to take a walk every day or most days or something, because 20 minutes isn't bad at all. Sometime later, and we're getting ready to go to bed, but it was Saturday, so we tried to do a little recording tonight. Um, got to play around with Tabletop Simulator a little bit. Uh, we recorded things that are a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> a little weird, I think, is a nice way of putting it. We, we did a puzzle, uh, a very familiar puzzle, and we also recorded... Trouble. Popomatic Trouble. Um, and... It, it's interesting because, like, with, with some of the other games that we do on Stephen and Friends, um, the appeal is, like, the humor itself, the comedy. And with Tabletop Simulator, like, there is comedy there, but I think it's going to be more of a shift to the entertainment is the actual game, you know, because we're playing a game. I could see, you know, if we were playing Clue or something, there's going to be funny bits, but it's not going to be the concentrated funny that Joking Hazard or Broken Picture Phone would be. So, it's not that one is necessarily better than the other, but they're very different things, and I think they're going to kind of meet a different audience. Certainly there will be people that like both, but there's going to be people that are more interested in like that concentrated funny that will probably not find the board game stuff that interesting. I don't know. We'll see what we can do as we continue and, and do more of these videos, but... Did you show the hallway? That's what I was, that's the other thing I was going to show off before bed. Um, because we got those picture frames, we decided to hang some stuff. And uh, now we've got these uh, pixel art things. Different uh, scenes from Earthbound by Melissa King are all hanging in here. And then we have the, uh, the big one on the right. So this is kind of like, it's like the Earthbound hallway now. We also hung up a thing above the stove. Hallway bound, what? Above the stove. Oh yeah. Yeah, Mal put, the Mal put the Mr. Southern's coffee thing that she painted on a record in the, uh, in the kitchen. And then also, you might be saying, where did the, the canvas space. of the deep space thing go? Because it was there. Well, because Mal was worried about people getting showers and it, uh, you know, becoming... Humid. Yeah, human and messed up. We put this here. We actually have it turned sideways because it fits the space a little bit better. And it doesn't really matter because it's space. Like, there's no, you know, there's no right way to... <laughs> what is, like, there is no up or down in space anyway, so it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Things have been going pretty good. Um, we've been getting in bed, you know, pretty early. And even tonight, like, we had to stay up late because we were playing games, but it's not even 2 a.m., so that's much earlier than we usually, um you know, finish for game nights and stuff, so that's good. So we're going to go to bed, and then uh, continue on tomorrow. Mal, uh, unfortunately, couldn't finish the um, painting today, so we're going to hopefully get it done tomorrow, and, uh, you know, then she'll be good. Because I'm good. <laughs> Things on my end are going pretty good. I, I'm, I'm doing really well with my work. It's just a matter of getting Mal's Katamari painting finished up. Let's meet back tomorrow.